My dear people, oh. my dear people, welcome to this vlog. And if you haven't been, and okay, last time, my dear people, welcome to this vlog. And if you haven't, one last time, okay. My dear people, welcome to this vlog. And if this is your first time on my channel, and welcome to the best channel on YouTube because it's my channel and I have followed it. I know what I say the last vlog where I was training I was working out and I was like yeah I'm gonna work out like every day but I haven't I have an excuse that I have worked like in summer camps and stuff like that but I have a philosophy which goes on like this with love actually if you are still breathing and living you can still admire and love whatever you want like people or or stuffs and and I can connect that to to work out also if you are breathing and living means that you can still work out there is no vacation from breathing and living so there shouldn't be any vac vacation from uh, working out by the way have you guys noticed that uh, I changed my name on YouTube or I just added a name in between my first name and my surname uh, which is uh, Aladdin so now it's called Pradip Aladdin Karel so I'm gonna tell you guys the Aladdin story but first workout every time when I do like a starting over of my workout routine then I do 50 of everything today upper body 50 of leg raises chin ups pull ups I know what they're called and 50 dips <sighs> I have to eat now before I explain the Aladdin story do you know who Aladdin is? if you don't know then check this out and by the way this uh, chocolate box it's also called Aladdin. It's a really good chocolate box. I love it. Gotta keep one jump ahead of the bread line. One swing ahead of the sword. Riff raff, straight rat, scoundrel, take that! Have anything else to say? Well, uh, he wishes there was something he could do to help. A whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. In order to tell you a compelling story, I need some kind of tools. So let me go and get it. This is actually not a hunt for tools to tell my story. This is grocery shopping because we were making some kind of pizza and a pasta with chicken thingy. Pizza time! It's hot! The Aladdin story for me, which I'm gonna tell you guys right now, or like in some seconds, is the reason why I call myself Aladdin or when I present myself to kids uh, or a new school or a new workplace what the name I have is Aladdin and here is the reason why once upon a time 
in a land far, far away. A land which I call my homeland. A place of a lot of my origin stories. It was a warm and sunny day. I can remember that. I came home from school. I would do my homework and play with other kids, with my sister, with my cousins and some of the friends who lived nearby. After the playtime was over, I would watch my favorite show, Aladdin. It was dubbed in Hindi. I loved it because I understood that. And the reason why I liked Aladdin or the, the character, the dude that was Aladdin, is because he was poor but smart, street smart. I could see myself in him. We weren't poor or anything economically. We had actually a few houses and decent status in the society. But I felt poor. Poor at knowledge or at study, at school. That all the other kids were so much better than me. And teacher? Who were allowed to beat kids? Yes, beat kids with hands or stick or whatever they may find to teach kids discipline. I myself, I've got a lot of beating of teachers, which was a proof from teacher that I'm done. Anyway, Aladdin was a perfect role model for me. He was adventurous and like myself, kind of skinny. Poor, but street smart. He became my escape from my reality. Fast forward several years, when I was leading a class in parkour here in Sweden. See, I have a difficult name, and a kid came up to me and asked me. Hey sir, can I call you a laddie? Because I don't know your name. Then it struck me as lightning. Just that Dr. Strange fell into its subconsciousness. I did that too. I went through my past, through my childhood. I came back. The person I looked up to when I was a child, a kid, called me with that name. I was filled with pride. I accepted that name and gave that kid a bro fist. And since then, I've been calling myself Aladdin. And that was it, the Aladdin story. There is always a deeper meaning with a lot of things and choices I make in life. People don't notice that because I'm always happy and smiling and kind of like a joker, so th they think that I'm just making random things up, but it's not. And thank you so much that you listened to my story. This is it for this vlog. I hope I see you guys next time. And I wish until then that you are healthy and smiling and have an adventurous week. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. It would mean a world to me if you did that. Cause there are a lot of stories I can tell you guys. Bye.